This story is for those who are dissatisfied with their lives and think others are happier. To understand the message, watch till the end. Once upon a time, a fox was very unhappy with his life. One day, he started crying while sitting on a hill. A philosopher walking nearby noticed the fox's tears and approached him, asking, What's wrong, my friend? Why are you crying? The fox replied, Oh, wise one, I am very upset with my life. No one loves me. People shoo me away in disgrace. No one gives me anything to eat, and everyone hates me. Death is better than this life. The philosopher felt compassion for the fox and said, My friend, we should learn to be happy in whatever condition we are in. But the fox didn't understand and continued crying. The philosopher then said, Don't be upset. Tell me, what do you want to be? I can help you with my wisdom. The fox brightened up and said, Oh, blessed one, if you want to do me a favor, please make me an eagle. The philosopher agreed, but first instructed the fox to ask an eagle if he was happy with his life. The fox trotted off to find an eagle and saw one soaring high in the sky. He approached the eagle and said, How majestic you are. You soar so high, and everyone admires you. You must be the happiest creature in the world. The eagle replied sadly, No, my friend, I am not happy. Though I soar high, I am always alone and constantly fear hunters. I think the deer must be the happiest animal because it lives in beautiful forests. Hearing this, the fox went to find a deer. When he found one grazing in a meadow, he said, Oh dear, you are so graceful and live in such a beautiful place. You must be the happiest animal in the world. The deer replied, No, my friend, I am not happy. I am always wary of predators like lions and humans who hunt me. I think the parrot is the happiest creature because it is colorful and lives safely in trees. The fox then went to find a parrot. After a long search, he found one in a lush tree, chatting happily. When the parrot was alone, the fox approached and said, Dear parrot, you are so colorful and live safely in the trees. You must be the happiest creature on the planet. The parrot replied sadly, I used to think I was the happiest and most colorful creature, but because of my beauty I am often captured and caged. I am not happy, my friend. Surprised, the fox asked, If you are not happy, then who do you think is the happiest? The parrot said, I have observed the world carefully and realized that you, the fox, are the only creature not constantly hunted or caged. You are free to roam the forests and hills. For the past few days I've been thinking that if I were a fox, I could happily roam everywhere and be free. Hearing this, the fox trotted away, feeling happy to be himself for the first time. He returned to the philosopher and said, Oh, wise one, I don't want to be anything else. I am fine as I am. In our lives we often make unnecessary comparisons with others, leading to sadness and self-pity. We don't appreciate what we have, resulting in a cycle of unhappiness. We should learn to be happy with what we have instead of longing for what we don't. There will always be someone who has more or less than us. If we keep comparing ourselves to others, we will never be happy. A person who is content with what they have is the happiest person in the world. These are words of wisdom and inspiration.